Hey girls, some of you are new and you're having a hard time inputting orders. So I wanted to do this really quickly um, while I had two minutes here and kind of show you how to do this. You would go into your back office, you would log on, and you would actually go into order. When you click on order, it will come up and that you're going to submit it as a party. Um, it'll say party order um, $200. That's what you would want to select. When you put that in, him, you will put the hostess information and select her tax rate and all of that will be based on the hostess info. If you are the hostess, you can actually have it go to you and that's no problem. Um, also remember that each of the orders that you submit, and I will show you, you need to know whether or not it's going to go to the hostess or it's going to go to them. If it goes to the person directly, um, you would have to make sure that it's a direct ship um, uncheck that it's going to the hostess and they will be charged an additional four dollars um, to have a ship to them but I will show you that in a second okay when you pull this up and you have all the inf hostess information in here it's going to come up like this now in this box here you will see it has a hostess exclusive exclusive hostess offer um, hostess credit and all of those other information I went ahead and I put in two people already. I have first customer and second customer. Obviously, this is a test. To do each person, what you would have to do is go over here to add guest booking. You would click on that, and hopefully it comes up here. My internet is a little slow right now. Okay, this is what it will come up with. This is the person's information that is placing the order. Um, you can see right here it says check to ship product to host. If it's going to them directly, uncheck that. And then we'll ask for the shipping information like you have here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check it for now so that way I don't have to worry about putting all this other information in here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do a test. I'm going to say the first name is three and the last name is one. You do not have to put an address in there um, or other information if you don't want to. You can as a way to follow up with them in the future, but you don't have to. If it's going to the hostess, you do not have to put that in there. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save and continue. Okay, it's come back to that page that I just showed you. And what you're gonna do is when you're putting someone's order in, as you can see here, I went ahead and my first customer uh, let's see here. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Um, as obviously my first customer, I put in that she is going to order. Um, she wanted 14 of uh, Uptown Rolling Weekender. Wouldn't that be awesome if someone ordered 14 of those? Because um, the product, it would be $1,200, which would be a pretty nice party. Okay. Now, what you would do is say this three one wanted order. You would select her from the list, which is up here. Okay. Item number and description, say she wanted the thermal tote, and this is not a time for my laptop to die, so I'll do this really quickly. Um, you would put in the number and how many they wanted, and I'll just say one for now. It's going to come up with your options for your thermal tote. You're going to select which print you want, so we're just going to put big dot. And you'll hit add to order. That's going to ask you if you want personalization and that's where you put all the information in there. Right now for sake of time I'm just going to say none. Okay now you have her order in there as you can see um, the test order for 31 for 31 that would be her total. Her product total is 